Hey everybody, welcome back to the Chaotic Little Book Corner. Um, I am filming this two days after my car accident. And I just, just wanted to do a couple videos to keep up with Vlogmas. Um, they may not be my best work. And they may not be the most impressive. But I do want to continue Vlogmas. Um, at least that's my goal. My hair is a mess. Um, I had a pretty good ER experience, which I say that because I'm in the ER a lot. Um, I end up in there for panic attacks quite frequently. Um, and so I usually have a pretty good idea as to whether or not the treatment is, is um, good. And um, they were really on the ball in this ER. They did well. There was a lot of waiting. I got in there around 5 p.m. and got out around 2.30 a.m. Um, so time was not on top of their game, but I can't expect a lot since I had to get a CT scan to check my body. Um, I am bruised from this part of my body all the way down. Um, there is a direct line. Ow. There's a line from here across and then across my stomach. So in the exact shape of my seatbelt. Um, and I'm bruised on my leg. Um, from slamming against the door. My car is totaled um, and I'm not getting another one. So we will see how I get around from here on out. Um, my life is about to get more complicated and my ability to be social is about to be even more limited. So you guys are going to mean even more to me than you do usually. Um, and, uh, yeah, this is, this is just going to be a lot to deal with. Um, the accident was really bad. I fugued and I was unable to remember some of it. Um, I switched multiple times in the scenario um, while in the ambulance and while the crash happened and then again in the hospital while I was alone. Um, it was a really scary experience and it's not over. I haven't been able to sleep the last two nights because all I can see is the car crash happening, replaying over and over again in my brain from what I can remember about it, um, which means that I just have nothing but that playing in my head right now, so I'm having trouble concentrating. Um, I'm struggling to keep focused enough to read. Um, I just finished... Um, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban today. That was my book I read today. Um, so I'm not back on track, but I'm only about a book behind. So that's not bad. Um, I'm going to do my mid-month wrap-up right after this. So you'll see where I'm at with books. But um, I'm filming this on the 12th. So I've read 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I've read 11 books as of the 12th. So um, I'm only missing one book. And that's completely catch upable, if that makes sense. Um, I was already a book ahead, so it worked out just fine. Um, but all truth and honesty aside, you know, I... Um, I almost had to go back into inpatient because of this. Um, I did have to talk to a psychologist because I was having um, thoughts of dangerous thoughts um, towards myself. 
And so they told me that they thought I should go back into inpatient, which was kind of, I agreed to it at first and I was ready to go back in. But then the more I thought about it, the more I realized I didn't have my things. I didn't have um, my safety items. I didn't have um, an idea of where I would end up as far as a hospital. So I didn't know the hospital. Um, I would have been in a different state, so separate from my family. And my mom would have had to take time off of work to stay in the area just because she wouldn't want me to be completely alone. Um, so it was all, it was all too complicated. And so I will probably end up going back into outpatient, which I don't know how that's going to work because I have to drive in to see the outpatient group every single day, but I don't have a car. So that means I probably have to carpool with my mother, but right now my parents don't want me driving. So lots of, lots of unknown factors are happening right now. Um, all in all, this has been a really bad few days and this whole year has kind of been rough for me and I I my therapist kind of put a few things into perspective as far as what I've come through and like what I'm able to do now that I wasn't able to do before and some basic things that I was able to achieve and survive this year that I probably wouldn't have been able to survive or achieve you know a year before um, so this year has been really mixed and I've found a lot of who my core supporters are and who really means a lot to me and who loves me and that's been really good for me. Um, and I know that you guys are really supportive and really wonderful and if I get some hate comments on this then, you know, I get some hate comments on this because it's not the first time that I've gotten hate comments on a video like this. It's really not. Um, so if you guys defend me, then <laughs> have at it. But um, it's it's really, it's kind of normal to me at this point to get really negative, nasty comments. But um, yeah, all in all, um, I'm just really hurting. I'm in a lot of pain and I'm feeling really, really low and mentally I'm completely out of control and feeling not a lot of push to do anything and not a lot of will and I just have to keep going and I'm going to keep doing this because I need to. I need to have something driving me and yeah. So that's what this is going to be, and if it's not my best work, I do apologize, but um, I'm doing the best I can with the energy I have. So I will see you guys in my next video. Um, if you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, click that subscribe button and join the Chaotic Little Book Corner. If you have any questions, comments, or quandaries, go ahead and comment down below, and I will see you all in the next video.